Randy Stoklas was volleyball's first five-tool player. Nobody had seen anyone like him. Hands of sweet, smooth butter, master of the con block, a fearsome presence at the net. He passed with laser-like precision, and when he hit, everybody said, look out below. Stoklos, his team trailing by three, still working on Dodd. Through the block, here comes Randy, look out, explosion! With Sinjin Smith, his longtime partner, Stokey broke onto the other side, and even the most casual of sports fans knew who this team was. Stokey's journey has its roots in Eastern Europe, Poland to be specific. That's where Rudy Stoklos, Randy's dad, escaped the horrors of a Nazi concentration camp in Bremen, Germany, where he met Alice, wife-to-be, who became a fixture later at AVP events. Like so many before them, Rudy and Alice came to America for a better life. They started in Jersey when California beckoned, and so they traveled along the infamous Route 66 and headed to the Golden State, where they located in Pacific Palisades, paradise by the sea. In 1960, Alice gave birth to twins, Randy and Rhonda. The sport of volleyball would never be the same. A scrawny kid, Stokey meandered down to Muscle Beach, where he was taken under the wings of one Bobby Barber. Bobby still plies his trade, teaching generation after generation of players, one-fourth his 80-plus years. But Stokey was the greatest to come out of the Barber Laboratory. Every summer, Randy would head down to Muscle, surfing by morning and setting by afternoon. The Stokey physique began to change, and what once was the 80-pound weakling became the 6'4", 220-pound monster. He had his first success at Pally High Dolphin Indoors, playing on a team that included future legends and Olympians, Dave Saunders, Ricky Ludes, and Steve Sammons. Oh, what a time it was. Stokeless was first unveiled to an unsuspecting public as an 18-year-old in Santa Barbara in June of 1979. But it was to be two years later, in 1981, when Randy teamed up with crafty Jim Mengus, when the magic truly started to happen. His first open win at Manhattan Beach, the granddaddy of them all, the first of 122 victories spanning 15 years. However, the seminal moment in Randy's career took place in 1982, 4th of July to be specific, Santa Barbara, the locale. That was where he played his first tourney with St. John Smith, a win naturally and a moment which set the future course of his career and to a larger extent shaped the growth of the sport of beach volleyball around the world. It would never be the same again. Yes, the sport of beach volleyball does owe a debt to Randy Stoklas. When you look at Phil Dalhauser today, you are seeing Randy Stoklas of the 1980s. Just close your eyes and you'll see the similarities at the net in the way they pass, but most strikingly, the way the ball comes off the hands. So cleanly, so smooth and with such precision. It is an art, and it is beauty. But Randy also brought an entertainment value to the beach, with his trademark neon shorts, his headband accentuating the scowl that had his peers cowering. His contributions to this game, we all love, cannot ever be minimized. Randy Stokeless ushered in the modern era of beach volleyball.